all are well. Today we are off to the 280 which got a new job and we need to put a grapple pad on it so we can pick up the grab with it. Uh, I got busman's truck and trailer. I got all the stuff I need, well the generator, the grab itself, uh, the grapple pad. So we're heading to the 280 which is still at the job where it was last in the sand quarry and I'm gonna get that done hopefully today. for a while take too much so that bit is off now I'm gonna pick up the grab and test with the new pad we mark out what it's gonna be I might end up grinding a bit more down here but I only got a cordless per grinder here at the moment so I save until I know exactly it's gonna be but I got a feeling it's, it's gotta be it's gotta be somewhere in this area probably maybe the bottom end of it we'll get into this and uh, we go from there Well, I do have a little issue here. So that's the issue there. So these new type of hitches, they offset about 200 mil, I would imagine. They're not, they're not in line with the dipper, the actual hitch where it picks up the and for therefore the elbow hits there before what, what i try to do now is just lift it up man lift it up a little bit let that let that drop a little bit and we'll see if that curves clears the dipper on if not if not then uh, we're in sort of trouble
it is clear as it la la. I think I've got to have to try it. I have to try it la la. I have to try it la la. I gotta, we gotta put it on. We gotta put it on one way or another. So it's usable inside. Alright. Right, I've got that pad out. Unfortunately, you can see where the pad came off. I have to clean a bit more welding off so the new plate sits flat there. So I'm gonna do that, I'll grind that off, put the plate and the pin on there. And, and we'll see, we'll see. So the generator got a dead battery. This jump pack, which doesn't seem to work, it says 96% battery. But I'll give up with that. We don't use that Jenny very often, and the battery is gone flat. And when I mean flat, it's dead flat. And I haven't got anything in my main, so I'm gonna improvise here. Well, I'll try anyway. All right, so I just got the hammer and the flattened the end of these, so it can slide in my Makita battery. Yeah, bang on. Plus, minus. So, plus, minus. Come on. Stay there. Makita baby, Makita. Get you out of trouble. All the time. it I welded it up oh. I haven't got paint on me so I'm not gonna clean it out with the wire wheel leave that smoky stuff on at least it protects it a little bit until we get to it and that's ain't gonna fall off if that's fell off it rips it, it rips the skin off the dipper arm Right, I suppose all we have to do now, other than pack up, is test it out. What's happening with that?
machine. What a machine. Right, she's fully operational. Everything works as it should. Yeah. Rock and roll. She's ready to work. Looks good. <laughs> what a beast. Anyway, I'm going to pick up now and head back towards the yard. <laughs>